excited Good. to finally meet you in person. In person, I know. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, show me around. So we moved in. We really didn't make any changes from what the other people did. I'm dying to make changes. Yeah. I'm so excited that Good. you're here. You need the initiative. <laughs> yeah. You need yes. to do it. Take the plunge. So, for example, that yellow wall. Yes. I hate it. It's been there the whole eight years? It's been there the whole time. I hate okay. it. It's a great big space, though. Yeah. We're the hub house for my family. So, okay. like, my sister and her kids are Same. here, and my mom's here. Yeah. We're all about the table. Wow, eight years with the paint you hate and hooks. The hooks, the hooks were, came, came afterwards. We do lots of holidays. I actually love decorating the house, and that's why I have the... the uh, hooks. <laughs> love that. Because um, we always have some sign or something yeah. up that's, you know, Happy Thanksgiving or whatever Aww, it is. garland. I kind of like the style of a colonial Cape Cod, so I love the idea of it being a little more formal, but not feeling like, oh, I can't touch it. You want, like, a cozy elegance. Yeah. You want it to look like you have nice things and you treat your things well, but you also live here. Exactly. So you've got kids' toys in the mix. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Mom. So. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, next room is the living room. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I love that you guys have brick in a ton of homes. People are paying a lot of money to resurface their brick fireplace. Well, I actually love the color, especially if you like that Cape Cod feel. Yeah. The creams and the taupes and the grays all working together. I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Money saved. Yes. That's all I see. <laughs> there is nothing like walking into a house that already has a huge feature point that people pay big money for. I'm going to use this beautiful fireplace as the focal point of this room. That way I can spend money on other things that need more attention in this house. So this, right, this is space. my, I have no idea what to do with this space. I was just saying, what am I? <laughs> Previous owners had this, had all of their wine. They had like a wine fridge and the wine glasses all hanging and it looked all lovely. The only problem is, is we don't drink. We're just not quite sure what to do with the space. The, the backsplash is very, very nice. We, li we like it, but we're just not sure what to do. OK, so this, you're giving me permission to play in whatever I feel play like away. makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do. Play away. Sweet. Where do we eat? Here we go. Come on in. You know what I love about this space is it's so big. So many cabinets. Yes. I'm sure you have no complaints on storage. No, need the storage. OK, good. So as long as we're flexible, and I promise you that you will not, I will not leave you with less storage space. I'm a mom, again, three kids. I know you need it. I would love to have more pantry space. Where is the pantry? That right there. Oh, this? Yeah. OK, so we need a better storage system in the pantry instead of just dumping everything in a big open cabinet. Yeah. So Cape Cod has like like 1990s like homes where like in the movies, you know, where everyone's yes. cozy and the kitchen is you know, a little bit cluttered, but they yeah, have a lot yeah. of ornate trim. And is yeah. that what we're yes. going for? Like a Nancy Myers movie. Yeah. yeah, 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 OK. Nancy Myers is a producer, a director. She's got some great movies. The Parent Trap is a classic. Something's Gotta Give, The Intern. Um, a lot of her films have the same kind of Cape Cod traditional kitchen style, which is what Maya really, really loves. Like formal elegance, yeah. but still lived in and like. Cozy. Yes. All those like. Details, Details that yes. are so classic, and if you just put them with modern decorating, it's like so expensive looking. Yeah. Show me like a typical day. Like you wake up, what? Who's in here making breakfast first thing in the morning? As far as the the stove top itself, I, I'm more of a functional person. Okay. Um, as long as it functions and does what I need it to do, you're happy. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a happy, happy man. Yes. Okay. Well, you think it functions? I hate. We don't have a hood. Yeah. Yes. So whenever I cook, I've got everything. Is that safe? It's we safe, but. There is oil residue that builds up on the. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So it technically. There's a fan, and I've only tried to light the kitchen on fire like two times. The Cape Cod look doesn't come cheap, so I'll spend the bulk of the budget in this kitchen on all new floor to ceiling cabinetry and all new countertops. But by keeping the stove, sink, oven, and refrigerator, I'll be saving at least $4,500 on appliances which is money I can put towards creating not just one, but two much needed pantries on the wall with open shelving in between. We are keeping the footprint of the cabinetry because we can't touch the floors. It's such a big house. Taking up those floors would be like 12 to 15, 16,000, I think. Wow. That's just me like eyeballing it. So I'm so glad that they were okay with their floors. With no need to sacrifice money on flooring, I'm also going to turn their peninsula into a breakfast bar for the kids and some stunning Cape Cod detailing with a new large wooden vent hood so Maya isn't in danger of burning the kitchen down when she cooks. Plus a beautiful chandelier and glass cabinetry. Total cost for all these changes in the kitchen, 24,000.
So all new cabinetry throughout the kitchen, but whenever you are removing the lowers in the kitchen, please have them do it super delicately because I have a special project for you. And I wanna take those lowers, chop them down a little bit to where they're more shallow, and I wanna make a bonus feature in the dining room. I want it to look like a custom hutch piece. That's resourceful. I really need to amp up some cozy elegance in this dining room. So I'll paint the old yellow walls more of a Cape Cod style color and create a Huxh Maya with her reused kitchen cabinets. So she can display her holiday decorations and it will give her more storage. This room will get a whole new look for about $500. I have a feeling this one's gonna come out really easy. Look. I saw that going differently for me. Even though we are removing most of the very old cabinetry, I'm going to be reusing some of them and keeping the appliances. So the guys are being extra careful with them. Out in the living room, the old wine rack is being removed, and I've got to talk Miguel through my plans for repurposing these kitchen cabinets. Hello? In here. Follow my voice. Hello. Hello, hello. So, special project of the day. We salvaged these from the kitchen and I want to make it into a furniture piece for the dining room. You're so good. Think hutch. This is a very creative way to work with a limited budget. My thing is, you can transform anything. So working with a little bit of funds, I am able to transform this, but the guts of it, the bottom of the hutch, the most expensive piece is already made for me. I just gotta zhuzh it up. Thank you, Miguel. You're welcome, thank you. Hey, David. Yes. I'm gonna make it easy on you and do the dining room the same color as the family room and also the kitchen. Okay, cottage, as you yeah, said. Yeah, it's like light blue Ooh. gray. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I mean, I like it looks that. different because it's on the yellow paint. I didn't prime it, but yeah. um, I think it's gonna look really good. So all the same color throughout. But it's not gonna look like it because all the rooms are really different and have, you know, different stuff in them, but. This wall color, bright white trim and white ceilings, correct? Yes. Okay. It's gonna look great. I like it. I like it a lot. It always amazes me how much we can get done in our first week. The guys have taken the kitchen right back to its bones. And in the living room, the old wine cabinet walls are being cut down in preparation for Lon's new desk. So much light. Look how it's open. Holy. Well, that was a vision that all this gets cut oh, down and moved out of the way. Back here, like the entryway, like. Looks real nice. Better than a wine closet that was not even used. Yeah, the, Come on. to hold wine that they don't have. Yeah, a total waste of square footage. This is fabulous. And we'll do a typical over, overhang of three quarters of an inch. It's gonna but, be great. Yeah. I think it's gonna be really pretty. And we can add some trim here at the bottom. Trim it out really nicely. Yeah, I don't want it to be a really big overhang. I want it to be like a wooden desk, yes. not like a countertop. Yeah, perfect. Y'all lead the way. Go in, go in. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> Wow. What do you think? It's beautiful. beautiful. What's the first thing you notice? Shelves. So since you're talking about this hutch, let's talk about it for a second. These lowers, they're from your existing kitchen. Oh. <laughs> so we took lowers from your kitchen before, repurposed them, and then we were able to pull this and not spend hardly any of your budget on this big feature piece. We just wanted something that you could decorate at any kind of holidays, any kind of garland, wreaths, whatnot. Any holiday, because you said awesome. you were the hub yes. for every holiday for your I family. I am all about the holidays. Yeah. yeah, I just wanted a space for you to customize to be your own. Yay. Let's move on to the living room. Y'all lead the way. Oh my gosh. What's the first thing you notice? A desk, a huge desk. We had to get you out of that flex room for a space for you so you could breathe. And we thought that this would be a great little add-on to the space and, and filling this wall with something way more useful than a wine cellar. You guys don't drink wine. It was totally pointless. Yes, it was. Yeah. So, I am lapping the picture of us. Yes! <laughs> it does. I see it. It's ready for us. It's We're ready. right in. It's y'all's desk. <laughs> and it's so multifunctional, open and bright. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Let's play a fun game of what stayed. What was original? What was original? The brick on my fireplace. The brick! I loved this color. And it fits the paint so well. And I just think it was so Cape Cod, which is what I heard multiple times whenever I was talking yeah. to you, just the vibe of, of that. Let's go see the kitchen. Yes, I'm excited. Close your eyes, close your eyes. What? No. Close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna crash into something. I yep. got you, I got you. All right, ready? And go. 
That's the desk. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at the countertops yeah. and the backsplash. I love the backsplash. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, it's beautiful. Do you like the countertops and the color? And I do. Oh, and I just, I love the way the backsplash like picks the color up with the with the countertops and it's kind yep. of got like a bluey feel to it. Yeah. I love them. I love the backsplashes. I think it totally ties it all together with the wall color and all yeah. of it. So the whole goal between these closed cabinets and these drawers are that this is all pantry, pantry. storage. Nice. So you've got this. And I designed it to where it just doesn't look like a wall of drawers like you have before. It looks like a custom piece of furniture. So like this is just way more grand. Oh, uh, yeah. And beautiful. Isn't that insane? It's pretty.